on our let's talk something about spiritual marriage you've had so many directions about spiritual marriage and um you are not getting the cure or the treatment for it you've been trying and trying and trying but it is not going you try so many helps but it doesn't work bishop sam david is going to take us through the process and the method of using bayan tree and the leaves in treating spiritual marriage and he's also going to show us the causes some revelations we are not aware of that contribute to you getting spiritual marriage let's go check out the video spiritual marriage is a dangerous disease it's a dangerous sickness and ailment. When it attacks you, there is nothing you can do. Your business will clam down. Your finances will not be okay. Your marriage will not be okay. Your children's education will not be okay. Your, your, your friendship you will not be okay. Your relationship will not be okay. That is a spiritual marriage. It's a dangerous illness. When you are being attracted to a spiritual marriage, my brother, my sister, it is difficult for you to take yourself out. We have two forms of spiritual marriage. Listen to me. Two categories of spiritual marriage. We have the left one and we have the right one. We have a spiritual marriage that belongs to the left and one belongs to the right. Before we go there, somebody will say, what is a spiritual marriage? Spiritual marriage is when a physical being has gotten married to spiritual being. We appear what key physicals. Our Our worry soon suma. On fani ni me hu. San ni pano. Your friend will say, we worry soon sum. I know your spiritual husband and wife. Spiritual marriage. Tim, whether you like it or not, whatever terms that you have given it to, you are describing it well. Spiritual marriage, to your best of knowledge, it is, opinion is like gnosis. Everybody has one. You are entitled to your opinion. But I am saying spiritual marriage. Marrying to the spiritual world. Or a spirit being. People are married to a spirit being unknowingly, they don't know. So I will tell the two categories, if you hear me. Husband and wife, the two are married to a spiritual being, they don't know. There is no way your husband will marry a spiritual, will, be a, will have a spiritual marriage, and you the wife, you may not have. There is no way the woman will have, and you the husband will not have. It never happened. Even if you are in relationship, there is no way your girl or your woman or your lady will have a spiritual marriage and you tell me you are not going to have it. Mm -hmm. Lie, lie. You will by all means have it. I'm going to brief you about spiritual marriage. It is a problem that is going on nowadays. And some pastors, listen, some pastors or some of the spiritualists has taken advantage of that and you go to them they place their hands on you they say break and loose i command you in the name of jesus break and loose then you go then they say they are breaking the spiritual marriage on you no they know how to mention the name but they don't know how to command the name they know how to mention the name jesus but they don't know how to command the name Jesus. We have commanding the name Jesus and we have mentioning the name Jesus. A child can mention the name Jesus. A fetish priest can mention the name Jesus. A witch can mention the name Jesus. Every other person can mention the name Jesus. It only takes the insider to understand that there is a difference between mentioning the name Jesus and commanding the name Jesus. 
So when you command the name Jesus, the spiritual marriage goes. But I tell you, listen, nobody command the name Jesus and tell you or mention the name Jesus and tell you spiritual marriage is gone. That moment. No, it's a process. It's a procedure. Anybody that have gone to a spiritual person or a, a, a pastor, pastor have a spiritual marriage. Break it on me now. Let me go. That person don't know where he's coming from and where he's going. There is no way any spiritual person can break spiritual marriage instantly. My brothers and my sisters, even in reality, normal marriage, physical marriage, physical marriage, or physical relationship, is it simple for you to break it? You send a drink, they say they refuse. Your girlfriend, you say you will not marry, he say you will marry me. He's taking your pictures to play. Even physical, it is not an easy thing. How much more spiritual one? Then you pray, I break it, go, lose, leave. Now, they are all deceived and malign, throwing dust into the eye of the people. It is a process. First of all, that spiritual person, that pastor, must identify the source of your spiritual marriage, where it is coming from too. The reason why you are married or that spirit is married to you, that reason. Sometimes it is your, your house stool that is married to you. Sometimes it is the river at you, in your house that is married to you. Sometimes it's your grandfather something saying that he has a legal right over you. Sometimes it is the bath. What what jari? What shave you? Your bath water you throw away. That is how you got it. Sometimes you slept with a guy that got attracted to the spiritual marriage. Sometimes you slept with a lady that you got attracted to the spiritual marriage. Sometimes you sat in a bus where Somebody who was having a spiritual marriage sat and you sat on that chair. Immediately the person got up in a bad structure. That is how you got a spiritual marriage. And if that is the way and it is not from your house, it is a little bit easier. But if it is from your house, it needs a tedious procedure. It needs a strong procedure before that spiritual marriage is taken off. Okay. You cannot just bath one half today and say it is finished. It's a process. That spiritual marriage or that spiritual man don't like certain things. The, the pastor or the spiritual person must see and give that thing to the person. That spirit for it to go. Benyan or Beyan is one of the trees that solve all problems. Bayan is one of the three that solves all problems. Bayan three, you can tap on a a a a so a how The same way Bayan tree, if you go under, there are small small trees under, small small uh, heads under. When when you have it. Banyan tree is sometimes found in the house, sometimes found in the forest, sometimes found in the street. The one in the house, they sweep under always. So it's hard for you to get the small, small trees under. But those at the street side, you can find small, small trees under. That is why anybody that has a spiritual marriage, that is your bath every day. You bath that for seven days and wait. Your spirit, whether strong or not, will go away. Another 31 days, the spirit will come back. So if you bath seven days, you wait for 31. You bath seven days again. You wait for 31 days. You bath seven days again. That is when the spirit goes. It is not break and lose issue. If you have spiritual marriage, one sign you see is maybe sometime you sleep and somebody will come and sleep with you. Or you will be having sex with somebody in the night. It's a sign of spiritual marriage. The dangerous one, we have two categories. The one category is you hear somebody sleeping with you. 
The dangerous one is that you will not even see somebody sleeping with you. But your business will be down. Your finances will be down. Your relationship will be down. Everything will be crumbling. You have a spiritual marriage, but it is hiding. Okay? They put a mask so they don't sleep with you. Even though they sleep, but it does not show in a dream. If it is showing in a dream, God has even blessed you. Some don't show in the dream. It is dangerous. Some people's spiritual marriage is that they do masturbation. As they, 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 they put their pennies or they, they are distant and then it goes. They give birth in a spiritual realm. Some ladies, they have to finger themselves, put their hands into their vagina for them to satisfy themselves or, or have some pillow, these things. These things are not normal, my dear. They are not normal. They are not normal. You feel you have satisfied yourself. It is a total 100% spiritual marriage. The sign you see is disappointment. Two, you may earn money, but you may not get money. You may earn money, but you may not get money. Two, you find it difficult to get a job. Three, you may not keep a relationship for a very long time. Three, you have fight even your friends who have problems with you. Those who does masturbation. It's a spirit behind it. They are all backing by spiritual marriage. You give birth to the spiritual realm and you take care of them. So they will be tossing you every day. The you banyan tree, the leaf under. That one to you come back it one day and be saved. That is the procedure I've taught you. Go, go and break and lose it. If it will go up, me, I'm there. Thank you for watching the video. That was Bishop Sam David taking us through the method and the process of using banyan tree or the leaf in curing spiritual marriage. He explained further how you contract it, how you get it, how it comes into your life, how it enters into your life. And he has shown us the process of getting out of it by using Bayan tree. So go through, watch it carefully, and then apply it if you are facing such problem and come out of it. Whatever you want to assess, whatever you want to analyze, whatever you want to say, expression of opinion of anything concerning the video, let's do that at the comment section. If you want to also elaborate for people to understand it further at the comment section, do that at the comment section. Let's discuss at the comment section. Thank you for sticking and saying and enjoying the video. I'm going to come away with another teachings some other time.